one hello 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 one and all and welcome back to another let's play yes I know I'm terrible I'm a terrible terrible person I haven't updated him forever and when I do it's with a new let's play not one of my old ones <gasps> I'm so sorry however I figured I might do a little something something in that I want to, to show off this game. Um, it is one of my favorite RPG Maker games and a lot of you are going to be face bombing when it comes to the graphics and say HOW? WHY? WHAT? IS SHE BLIND? and I will say yes for a little bit I will be. However, it gets better and the reason to play this game is not for the graphics you play it for the story and the characters and that's awesome that's the awesome part about it and I absolutely adore this game it could do with a bit of updating graphics wise but for now it's awesome as it is sort of kind of you'll see anyway the, uh, like I said this is one of my favorite games um despite its many faults and I have decided today to do a complete play. Yes, start to finish. I will probably break them up in episodes, but all in one sitting, one day, one game. Yes. I can't even remember how long this game goes, but uh, fuck it, I'll be up all night if I need to be. Yes, the majority of the music used in Cloud and Heart is made up of MIDI mi remixes of music found in commercial games. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah, most of them were downloaded from VG Music, which is an awesome site if you like, uh, game music from, like, games. Also, check this shit out! For some time now, I've been wondering. Oh? Really? What have you been wondering? Where does the line go between good and not so good? Evil. Oh, and if I sound a little sniffly or nasally, it's because my allergies are being a bitch. I've read so many stories and heard so many tales of noble heroes that banish the forces of evil from the world. Be ye gone, evil. But, 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 does true evil really exist? Eh, that is the question of the day, and the game. Isn't it just a matter of different points of view? As mad and twisted as those points may be, are there really people out there who would harm others without a reason? Well, a lot of evil people do have a reason. They enjoy hurting others. That's a reason. These questions have occupied my mind for some time now. Will I find my answers, or will they forever remain out of reach? Out of reach! Alrighty-da-da-da-dee, Also, um, I do realize that my micro... microphone is pretty shit. Yes, this was made by Carl Martin Hogsness. Shoutouts to him. Good job, good job, good job indeed. Um... Woo! Yeah, uh, you seem to be missing an arm, dude. Man is like a one-winged angel. He may walk alone, but must embrace another in order to fly. Sorry. <laughs> Marth, you're up. We're short on food again, hun. Would you mind to go going to the Caldina grocery store to pick something up for me? Oh. Oh, um, this is version 4. I haven't played version 4, so I'm not sure if there's been changes in it. I don't seem to remember these face sets being in the last one. So for all I know, the graphical issues might have been taken care of. I'm not counting on it, but it's a possibility. Alright. Do I have to? Well, not if you're happy with bread and apple juice for dinner. Apple juice! Kick ass! Alright, I'll go. Oh, and one more thing. Bye!
buy a bottle of Dad's favourite wine while you're there, would you? Just in case he comes home. I know the lady behind the counter, so it's all right. Right. What was that? It's been three years since he'd left. He's not coming home, Mum. Don't talk like that. Your father is doing his best for all three of us. It isn't easy making money in the city, you know. These things take time. Now hurry up and get to the market before the shops close. Fine. Yeah, so I need a new microphone because this one's pretty shit. I tried to do some voice acting for something and it turned out really, really not great. I mean, the actual voice acting was pretty. It was okay, but the quality of the recording was... Ah, my eye is itchy. It was bad. Um, okay. It was always like that. What started with me doing her a few favours quickly snowballed. I noticed Mum spent more and more time just moping around at home. She said Dad could return at any time and that she wanted to be right there to greet him when he did. I guess eventually that wish became obsessive. She began refusing to leave the village entirely. She said she had faith in him, but I think she was just in denial. Then gradually, by clinging to the safety of the village for so long, she started fearing the outside world. Shopping trips to Keldina became my job. I didn't mind doing it, but her reasons for asking me really irritated me. I suppose I shouldn't have blamed her, though. I was never comfortable around unfamiliar people either, but my reasons were different. Oh no, not the slow walk speed! Hey! Knock knock, who's there? Looks like she's not home. Nope, she ain't home. Hey dude, what's up? It's about time to harvest this little patch soon. Winter isn't too far off. It's been a good year though. Well, I'm glad for you. Is that you again, Marth? For the last time, you've borrowed all our eggs already. Unless you bought some new ones, get lost! Okay, fine. Hey, lady. Oh, caring for all these animals can be hard work. Perhaps I'm getting too old for this. Yeah, just a tad lady. Hey, Grandpa, what's up? Oh, good morning, Moth. I'm shopping for your mother again, I see. Try not to blame her. It can't be easy for her with your father gone and everything. Hmm. Hey there, Moth. Excited yet? Just a few more months now. Gotta say, these last few months have been easier than I thought they'd be. But then I'm not the one with the monster belly. I can't believe it's almost time. In just a few months, Adam and I will be parents. You'll come say hello to the baby once in a while, won't you, Marth? Yeah, sure. Thought of a name yet? We're still discussing it. If it's a boy, I like Hugo. Let's see if I get my way. Ooh! Hey, dude! Hey there, Sonny. How are things with you and your mother these days? Getting by okay? Yeah, we're okay. Good, good. Just let me know if you're ever short on milk and eggs. I've got more than I can sell. Okay, thanks. Don't mention it. You have a good day now. Hey, dude. Give us some of those eggs and milk and we can make scrambled eggs for dinner. Then I wouldn't need to go to the shops. Yay! I'm a genius! Wait. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Do 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 do. Down we go. Don't be so noisy. We're trying to sleep in here. Alright. Jeez. Fine. Yay! Moth! Catherine, hey, uh, what's up? I just found this necklace in the basement. It's really cool. Take a look. Oh, wow, not bad. I don't know you. Were, I didn't know you were the jewelry type. Hehe, <laughs> I'm not. But this is different. It belonged to my grandpa. I've heard so many stories about him, and all the things he discovered in his life. Who knows what exciting story might be behind. There. 
Who knows what exciting story might be behind this necklace? I see what you mean. He must have been a pretty interesting guy. So, what are you up to? Oh, you know, same as always. Okay then. Well, I better go put this somewhere safe. Catch you later, Moth. See you later, Catherine. Bye. Do do do. Where do you think you're going? Z Zach. I saw how you were looking at that girl, Tiger, as if you could ever be with a woman. Hey, we just talked and that's none of your business. Did you just raise your voice at me? I, I don't want any trouble. Not so fast, shorty. N no. Heh <laughs> freak. Zack. A miserable excuse for a human being who fed off the self-esteem of others just to strengthen his own, cannibalizing on their minds. For some reason, he'd never leave me alone. If he saw the slightest hint of confidence in my eyes, he'd do just what to say or do to mercilessly crush it to pieces. Rudy and Josh were never far behind. They probably just pretended to be his friends to avoid having to deal with him as an enemy. Cowards. When it comes to those three, I don't think I'll ever be able to let go of the hatred. I tried everything, pretending to ignore them, running away, even trying to stand up for myself. But the end result never changed. They surrounded me, pushed me onto the ground, and then... Beat the ever-living shit out of me! Ow! Damn it. What am I supposed to do now? There's nothing I can do because they're right. I'm weak. Damn it, if I only I hadn't been so goddamn helpless. Is it strength you want, little boy? We can help. Who's there? Poor child, alone and defenseless in this cruel world. Huh? Show yourself. Ah, who are you? We can make you stronger. Indeed we can. We can make the sorrow go away. Come with us and we will show you. Let us, let us end your suffering. Come, little boy, with us. We can give you the strength you want. What do you want? Get away from me. I never fully understood what happened that day. Those men who appeared out of nowhere wanting to help me. I never found out who they were, where they came from, or what would have happened had I chosen to go with them. It's one of the many questions I can't seem to get out of my head. I didn't feel like going home that night. So, this is where you've been. I've been searching for an hour. You had better have a good explanation for this. Hmm. Huh. What was that? Nothing. Forget about it. Do not raise your voice at me, young man. Just back off. So many questions and no answers in sight. But I don't plan to stop searching. Will it be I who discovers my answers or will they end up finding me? I guess only time will tell. Phew, second chapter this week. Guess it's time for a break. Yay, save the game. 
Grab whatever this is. Huh? What's this? Maduna Chronicles 1 and 2. Oh, okay. Alright, yes, we start off with items. We have pure weapon. Oh, water. <laughs> pure water and phoenix wing and a world map. This is the history of our world as it has been passed down by my people. I have taken it upon myself to write down this knowledge before it is forever lost with the passage of time. Many answers lie in the past, some of which may help guide us into a better future. This information has until now been confidential. However, the end of the Eliana War, Elena, Elena, Ale, Ale, Alaina, Alaina, Alaina. The end of the Alaina War marks the beginning of a new era, one in which the mistakes of the past mustn't be repeated. This knowledge should be shared. This is how it began. This is our story. Cue Final Fantasy X music! Four beings open their eyes, beings with no names, no knowledge of their purpose. Today we know them only as the goddesses of light, earth, wind, water and fire. When they first looked out upon the world, they saw only a grass void, a great void, a, a vast void, a void of vast, a sea of nothingness. Blah 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 blah. Blessed with the power to create, the goddesses faced a great di dilemma. They could create a rich, beautiful world full of life, a colorful, vibrant world filled with love, compassion, and empathy. But the goddesses were wise. They knew that lo with love came hatred. With compassion came greed, and with empathy came loneliness. They knew they could not have one without the other, but as they examined the vast empty realm before them, they realized that not a thing in the world was more terrifying than nothingness, and so they began to create. They painted a world in their own image, with vast green plains, fiery mountains, cloudless skies, and deep harsh oceans. Two continents separated by a giant, a great sea, later to be known as the kingdoms of Elena and Euphemia. Euphemia? Yeah. Finally, the goddesses breathed life into all the creatures that were to roam the lands they had created. As they looked upon their masterpiece, they felt their purpose had been served, and so prepared to go to sleep. However, it would seem fate would not let them rest just yet. Something else had been given life the day the goddesses awakened. Something that did not wish to sleep. Well, that was a short storybook. Book full of thoughts and memories. Hmm, I'm not completely happy with everything in here yet. Should I proofread something? You approach me gently, your kindness shows, and it seems there's nothing to fear. Yet before a word is said, I hide, and only a shadow remains. Your eyes search for mine, your hand reaches out, a comforting smile on your face. Yet despite all these signs, I continue to hide, and only the shadow remains. The shadow protects, and the soul shadow conceals. The shadow envelops mother the soul. It chases away what I it meant to protect, till only the shadow remains. I search through the dark for a last ray of hope, for one who can teach me to change, whose light will forever banish the dark so no trace of the shadow remains. Hmm, not sure I like that last part. I wish I could do rhymes, but actually I like that last part. We're all born lonely into this world. Hey, guys! Join me for poetry time! Woo! Alright. We are all born lonely into this world, as if something is missing inside us, there is a sense of emptiness in our hearts. When the security of childhood fades away, it takes shape, and we begin to feel it burning in our hearts. Perhaps that is why we journey through life, to free ourselves from this loneliness, to share our mind and body with another human being, to learn to love. There comes a time in our lives that we all realize we are flawed and imperfect. It's as if we're born incomplete and depend on strength and support from the outside to get through our lives. But why is that? Why do we lack that last piece to make us whole? Man is like a one-winged angel. He may walk alone, but must embrace another in order to fly. 
Maybe this is human nature. Maybe our very purpose is to depend on one another, learn from each other, and evolve together. If we were perfect, we would all have been alone. There would be no need to bond with others. No need for empathy. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed reading Owl with Liberty. Let's get the show on the road. Good of you to join us today, Ma. Hey, Mum. Catherine's looking for you, hun. She said something about running an errand and wanting some company. One moment, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to deal with something. All right. Be a gentleman and help her out, hmm? Uh, all right. I'll go find her. Great. Last time I saw her, she was headed out to the Traverse Caverns. Jeez, when she's going to learn it's dangerous to wander around there alone? I better hurry after her. Hey! Ah, Panga Village. Fresh air, perfect temperature, not to mention the lovely young ladies. Can it get any better than this? Hey, Marth, where's your friend today? She always seems to be all over you. Lucky bastard, what's your secret? Hey, it's not like that. Really? So you think I'd have a chance with her? Be honest. Honestly, I'd say my mum would have a better chance with her than you. Hey, that's not fair. So what if I chat up other girls all the time? My girlfriend seriously doesn't mind. Oh, days like this always get to me. It was about this time of year, six years ago, that my son and his friends disappeared. You remember Zach, don't you, Marth? Yeah. Wow, it's been that long. Marth, can you teach me sword fighting? Please, I promise to use it responsibly and all that. Maybe in a few years, Hugo. Oh, my brother's so immature. I wish he acted more like you, Marth. You look a bit clueless today, Marth. Need some advice? You will only be using two keys, the confirm and cancel, blah, blah, blah. Which ones you choose? Yeah, I know all that. Blah, blah, blah. I also know all in the menu, blah, blah, blah. Fucking shit, I already know all this shit. Saving, I know. Items, I know. I'm fine, thanks. Hey! Going outside, Marth. Be careful, alright? Lots of hostels out today. I know, their numbers seem to have increased lately. Can't help but wonder why. Zy creatures, aren't they? Similar to animals in appearance, only disfigured and mutated. Living only to tear down and destroy. Watch your back, okay? Never take them lightly. Yeah, thanks. Will do, Mother Trucker. Feels like only yesterday that Hugo was born. How did we end up to having two hyper kids tearing the village down? Time sure flies. Afternoon, Marth. Listen, thanks for spending time with Hugo the other day. I really appreciate it. No problem. He's a good kid. God rises you, you know. Keep saying how he wants to grow up to be just like you. Ha ha ha. Well, that's a first. Well, you're certainly a better role model than those other kids who used to hang around here. Bloody, bloody, bloody little bastards they were. Little Zack and that. Oh, little shits. Morning, Marth. This old farmer sure could use your help around here again soon. Let me know when you have time, alright? I don't think I've ever helped this guy out. Alright, fine, fine. I thought you wanted me to do a mini game. Alright, I understand. I won't do the mini game. Do, 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 do. I think that's everything. Do, 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 do. Hey! Oh, hey, I can go in here. Wow, it's such a big empty place. I was in your bed. Oh, I can't read any diaries. What a pity. Alright, let's go. As you noticed, I'm not really saying anything about the graphics because, well, they're okay for, like, oh. Oh, there he is. What took you so long? Hiya. Sorry, just working on my book again. Oh, right. Ever going to publish that thing? 
No way, pigs will fly before I do that. All right then, but I trust you'll at least let me read it. Trust me, you don't want to know about the weird personal stuff I write about. Sure I do, sounds like an interesting read. Not going to force you though, if you don't want to share. Oh, uh, Mum told me you wanted to see me? Yeah, I just thought I'd ask if you wanted to go to Caldena with me. I need to do some shopping. Yeah, sure. You really shouldn't be walking around in the Traverse Caverns by yourself, you know. It's dangerous. Ha! <laughs> Don't worry. I can take care of myself. <sighs> Holy crap! Jeez, we're not even inside the caves yet and we're already in trouble. I hope you remember how to fight, Marth. Uh, of course I do. Good, let's get him. It's time for death. Evil ooze. Eh, we're evil. And we're oozing all over you. Alright, wait, back up. Blood death, okay. Paralyzed. This will become one of your favorite skills in the game. An attack balancing the light and dark, and a light and dark attack that hits all enemies. Slightly restores HP, slightly restores HP to all people, cure poison, a light attack, and a light attack that hits all enemies. Well, that was easy. You won the battle and found money! Phew, easy. Not bad. You make a good partner. Well, off we go. No point sticking around here, right? Right. Do 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 up here we go. This cavern connects the two villages, Pangaea and Caldena. Do not enter unless you're well equipped. Yeah, let's save. Um yeah, we're okay. We have Marth and Catherine. Um let's let's go. Well, here we go. Yep. Sure you're up for this? I was born up for this. Uh, is it just me or has this place always been a little mysterious? I don't know, looks like any other creepy cave to me. Why am I not surprised? But seriously, just look at this place. It's got hidden treasure and ancient mysteries written all over it. If there was any treasure here, don't you think someone would have found it already? Oh, whatever. I know you'll agree with me. You just won't admit it. I admit this place has a strange feel to it, but... I know, okay, I promise to go treasure hunting with you later. Let's just get your stuff in Caldina now, for now, alright? Oh, fine. Okay, let's get going. Yay, macaroni. Um, monster battles. Day and night. Yay! <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of yoni, yoni, yoni. Okay, so straight up. Not like we can go anywhere else. Hang on a sec. What's wrong? See that passage there? Have you ever wondered where it leads? Not again. No, seriously. I know we won't find any legendary treasure or anything down there. I was just kidding. I'm not that naive. But I've been wondering where that path leads for ages now. I've just never dared to go down there alone in case I got stuck or something. But we make a good team, right? Want to check it out? Do I have a choice? But uh, how do you plan on getting through? Things aren't always as complicated as they look, Marth. You need to realize that. Yay! The easiest puzzle in the game. Solved automatically for us. Woo! Phew! You coming? Even after seven years of knowing you, you still managed to surprise me. 
Yeah, well, orphan, you know, you learn stuff. Huh, wonder if she knows how much I admire her honest and straightforward she is. Sometimes I wish I could be like that. Do 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 Monsters Whoa 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 wow Don't waste your MP like that, okay? Do 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 Hello a magic ever! Woo! Yeah! Mother Trucker! That's what I say, Mother Trucker Trucker. Ooh, okay, uh, middle. When in doubt, use middle route. Oh, well, okay, never mind then. <laughs> An angel's tear! That brings you back to life! Woo! Um, how much MP? Oh, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, she's not too bad hit-wise either. Cuckoo! And by hit, I mean attack-wise. Let's see how they do normally. Hey, good shot! Come on, Marth. Good job. I do find it a bit disconcerting that Marth has an um, actual attack sprite and she doesn't. Mercy! Oh, cool! Our first reveal spell of the game. I mean, revive, of course. A dead end? Hmm, looks like it didn't lead anywhere after all. That doesn't make sense. Why would someone dig a tunnel all the way down here if it doesn't lead anywhere? There has to be something here. Look at the way the roots are gathering in the center there. Almost a little creepy. Well, whatever might have been in here is gone now. Doesn't get much emptier than... Catherine, your necklace is glowing. Huh? Ah! What's going on? A, a portal? Whoa! Let's get out of here! Ah! Catherine! Damn it, the pool's too strong! What's happening? Where am I? Huh? What is this place? Let me save, please. Oh, my head hurts. You've finally arrived! Huh? Who's there? Follow this road and you will see. Come, and all will be revealed. Yep, just let me... This has to be a dream. This place feels so familiar. But there's no way I'd ever been here before. I guess I'd better do what he says. The guy! These are all the people in the town. And that's Marth as a kid, and Catherine. And there's two Catherines. Catherine, Catherine, give me your answer, do. Me writing, me. Around that time I started reading a lot. The Hero of Maduna was the book that inspired me to start writing. It's still my favorite. 
With my dad gone and my mother just moping around at home, I decided I had to learn to defend myself. I got the hang of it faster than I thought I would, considering I had nobody to teach me. The day my father left. It's been so many years, I don't even remember his face anymore. We lived in the village together our entire lives, but this was the first real conversation I ever had with her. One of the many days I'd give anything to forget. Hmm. You may not walk any farther. Huh? You finally arrived. Who... what's going on here? We've been waiting for you, Marth. The time will soon come when you will need us. What? This doesn't make any sense. Who are you? Where am I? What is this place? This place... this place is... Marth! What? Marth! Marth, wake up! Catherine? Ugh. Hey, we passed out. You okay? Guess it was a dream. Yeah, I seem to be alright. What just happened? By the looks of it, nothing. This place is exactly like it was when we walked in. You know, except for the roots and stuff being all gone. Huh, but that light. What, so we were seeing things? Well, we both saw the same thing, so that'd be weird. My necklace is gone. It seems to me like this, that was what triggered this somehow. Yeah, the necklace. The one you got from your grandfather, right? Yup. Found it at home a few years after he died. I saw it shatter, but I can't find even a shard of it in here. This is so bizarre. I can't shake the feeling that even though we're back in the same place, we aren't. Like, something's off. Yeah, I knew there was something weird about these caves. Looks like you were right, as usual. Well, this is one time I'd have preferred to be wrong. I'm seriously freaked out. I totally sound it, too. Well, I don't think we'll get any wiser sticking around here. Want to go back to the village and ask the others? Someone might know something. Sounds good. Anything to get out of this place. Let's go, let's go for a trip downtown Finding our way around in the caves Hey, the treasures are back again Huh, didn't we open this chest before? It's the magical fairies! They give you items They're like, hey, this chest is empty. We need to open it just in case somebody randomly appears and, you know, some hero comes along and needs some items and shit. Yeah. Woo, we got money coming out our ears. Yeah. Well, the ropes are the same. My treasure chest is also closed. Odd. Hmm. Attack! Woo, yeah, we won! Oh, my cat's asleep on my foot. She's so nice and warm and snuggly. Like, like a little moccasin of cat fur. Aww. Ooh, goosties. Uh, attack and a rush all. Oh, please die. 
Yay, I won the battle again. Good money. Uh, let's head back to the village first. Damn, I wanted to spend my monies. <laughs> No! No, this can't be happening! Our, our home! Find it! Burn the village to the ground if you must, just find it! <laughs> and I wanted a challenge, this is child's play! You'll get your challenge, asshole. Damn it, he's not gonna get away with this. You've attacked the wrong village. The name's Edge, and you ought to learn to respect your elders. Who are you, punks? The punks that'll make you regret ever stepping into Pangaea. Ah, don't make me laugh. If you value your lives, I suggest you run along now, kids. Bring it on, soldier boy. I'm not letting you get away with this. Soldier boy, now you've asked for it. Boss Edge emerges! Paralysis! And... Light attack! Ow, ow, ow! Blindness... I forgot that. Ah, uh, Sig... Siguna. Oi! Oh, damn. Damn! Uh, Magic Heather and Saguna. Uh, Paralysis and... Arash. Ha ha ha! And now we get to beat the shit out of him! Because in this game, even bosses have some thing, uh, status effects they fall to. Yay, level up! Ah, I underestimate, I, I underestimated, and I underestimated you kids. Get out and don't ever come back. You just made the greatest mistake of your lives. Trust me, this is not over. It's not over till it's over. How could he have done all this so quickly? Oh. Sorry about that. That was my iced coffee delivery. <laughs> yes, because I'm going to need it if I'm to stay awake tonight for this game. Ah, cat, don't tickle my feet. Let's hurry and put out the f help them put out the fire. Oh, this. Right. I forgot about this. Oh, uh, one of the annoying parts of the game, putting out all the fires. Might just be the music too. But yes, you have to fight every fire piece you can get your hands on. Thankfully they're not too difficult. And they do give you money. Which is good. Good money. Money is good. Oh. Um. Not that one. Not that one. Dude, quit your panicking. We're doing this. We do this.
Hey kid, what do you say? You say, get the fog away from me! Fire! Fire! Yeah, we know, we know. Die, foul creature, being, thing, 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 my bubble, thing, my boogie, Google, my Google, my thingy, my thing about Google, my goggle, my thingy, my sugula. I, I can't believe it. A group of powerful people from the north came to set our village on fire. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What you say? What you say? What you say? I'm scared. Oh man, not my house, dude! Dude, what? My window's broken, man! Oh! Yay, I got them all! Hey you, over there, help! There's no ordinary fire flames, I can't put them out! Oh, this heat is unbearable! Could this be the source of the fire? Boss time, motherfuckers! Yeah, this is kind of a dick move. Putting a... A boss battle straight after a boss battle. But, thankfully, they're not too hard. This game isn't very difficult when it comes to enemies. Which is a good thing, because you don't really want really difficult challenges when you're after a story... story... Blah blah blah. When you've got a game like this with high story, you want you want to be able to make it to the next story part. Yay! Woo! We did it! Thank you. That should keep it from spreading any further. What did you kids come here for anyway? Uh, cause it's our home? What? This is your home? Surely there must be some mistake. No one's lived here in at least six years. Sorry, what? Sir, that's not possible. My mum and I have lived here since I was born. Everybody knows that. Th this is nonsense. No one's lived here since Miss Nuvo Nuvo Mrs. Nuvola's death after the disappearance of her son. D death But that's crazy. I'm her son. I'm Marth Nuvola and I talked to her just a few hours ago. I... I'm afraid I'll have to ask you two to leave. I can't believe this! What the hell's going on? I sincerely hope you find your home, but it certainly is not this village. Now, goodbye. Well, aren't you a cherry plum piece of pumpkin poop head? Please tell me you're as freaked out as I am. This must be some kind of joke, a really sick one. A fire, bad guys, and now we're strangers in our own village? And mum, I mean she's not... right? No, she can't be, it's not like we're in another world. Dun dun dun! Alright, they do tend to spell a few things out sometimes. Fantastic, so what do we do now? Don't look at me, but we're going to have to figure this out somehow. Something happened to us in those caves, and we need to find out what so we can find a way to reverse it. I doubt we can do that on our own. Maybe we should head up north to Keldina and see what we can find out. Alright, can't say I've got any better ideas. There has to be someone out there who knows something we don't. Yes. What a horrible experience that was. In times like this, I can't help thinking about my son, Zack. He was murdered on a trip to Palmesia by a man wearing a black hood. What? That's not how I remember it. Zack disappeared and he was never confirmed dead. Hmm. Another world. 
We were able to evacuate the people and animals, so we managed to avoid casualties. This is going to be one hell of a clean-up job, though. Hey, who's the lady? Uh... None of your goddamn business, that's who. Hey, Hugo! Thanks for helping with the fire, but I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. I hope Uncle Tyson's crops made it! Stepping on the crops. Stepping on the crops. Oh, there's a book. What does it say? They're coming for me. I don't think I'll be safe here anymore. I need to pack my things and leave. If only things could go back to the way they used to be. The date says this was written over three years ago. Huh? That diary looks exactly like mine. The mystery. The plot thickens. It thickens, it does. Hey. Hey, clock. Can we sleep in the bed? Nope. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Door seems to be locked, or jammed, or stuck, or just not enterable. The children are safe, that's all that matters. I appreciate you two helping us put out the fire. For a second there, I feared the worst. It's in times like this you see the truly important things in life. Hello! Wow, I'm like super duper duper relevant today or something. That was just my brother bringing in a white chocolate topped friggin' strawberry for some reason. Yeah, it was nice though. <laughs> yes, important things and life and shit. I always pack one more. And now he bought me a cookie. I'm starting to think he might be trying to, I don't know, uh, smooth. What's the word? Smooch? No. Ugh. No. Ugh. Ew. No. Uh. Oh. Whatever. I think he wants money. All right. There's a bunch of junk in the way. I can't get in. I can't get in. Hey, dude. What's up? I was looking forward to relaxing this weekend, but now we've got several weeks of repairing ahead of us. Isn't life awesome? What? I know it was scary, but you two look like you've seen a ghost. Or a ten. <clears throat> Thankfully, the fire didn't make it inside the building. The animals here are safe. Yeah, glad to hear that. Meh, meh, moo, moo, nay, nay. Makaki. Oh, and welcome to the world map. We can move on the world map. We can move if we want to. We can move our way around. I hope we at least find some kind of clue up here to turn things back to normal. Yeah, I don't know what I'll do if we're trapped in this madness forever. Well, there was a way in, so there has to be a way out, right? I suppose. Oh, not that worry tone of voice again. We'll be back before you know it. Just wait. <sighs> Holy cool! Oh, why do they always have to do that? So many of them. This isn't looking good. I'm running if you are. Uh, I think we just missed our escape route. This is bad. What are we going to do? We need an Ayla and fast. It appears you're in a bit of over your heads. Who was that? <laughs> Mr. Kickass himself. Oh yeah. Whoa, I don't have a clue who you are, but thanks. Save your words for later, unless you're enjoying the company of these beasts. Hey, it's Frog's tune. Sorry. <laughs> 
such an iconic tune. Much frog, such wonderful. Not bad, I see you have some experience with this. Who are you? The name's Phoenix, Lionel Phoenix. I was on my way to the village when I spotted you. The village? You're not in league with the ones who burned it, are you? I was too late. Huh? No, I'm not in league with them. Quite the contrary. They're an organization known for spreading terror and fear across this country. And you? I've been searching for them for some time now. Why? Why would you... What would you want with a dangerous group like that? I want answers. That's all I can say for now. Huh. In that case, you're not the only one. Is that so? This is gonna sound incredibly weird, but... Exposition! A bright light. And now you say no one remembers you? Yeah, that's basically it. It's certainly not something you hear every day, but something tells me you're not lying. If anyone out there has information on this, I believe it would have to be the Nightwings. Nightwings? The ones who attacked your village. Their knowledge, influence and power surpasses that of anyone else in this country. Ah, uh, those guys. Great. So you're saying if you find these people, they could give us a way to return things back to normal? Perhaps. Well, it's our only lead. Anything else you can tell us about these Nightwings? Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't heard of them, but no. No one can tell you much. All I know is, within their ranks are dangerous men and women who have perfected the use of both weapons and magic. This due to the intense training orchestrated by their leader, codenamed The Raven. The Raven? Then that's the guy we have to find. It appears the three of us now share the same goal. Ooh, pardon. Oh my. <laughs> but I should warn you, the Nightwings are not the types to sit down and chat over a cup of tea. Pursuing them is not safe. Well, if we're all after the same thing, why don't you join us? By the looks of things, we could use a guy like you. Hmm, it's been a while since I had travel companions. Very well, I'll go with you. <clears throat> Alright, welcome to the team. Good to have you on board, Lionel Phoenix. Lionel will do. You will need a boat to reach the mainland. We should hurry to Caldina and see what we can find. Yay! Lionel, join the party! Ah, Dragoon, White Mage and Sword Fighter. What skills? Emptiness, a Dark Spell, and Mist. So, you can see that this game draws quite a bit of inspiration. A little bit of inspiration from um, Chrono Trigger, what with waking up in the morning and... Uh, childhood friend and this the the skill sets being like elementally based like you know light and dark versus light and this guy dark um, there will be a a rather well not large but a there will be a few people joining here so do not worry that you all only have like three or four people and that we've got half the cast already. We haven't. It's all good, Chi. Um, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. It's really close to an hour worth. And then I will be straight back. Because guess what? I am doing this all 
today! Oh my god, it's 7 p.m. already, and we are going to rock the night through with this game because I feel like it. And hey, I have my iced coffee, so, you know, I will be awake anyway. Alright guys, so I will be right back. Have a, have a break, have a toilet break. Ciao for now.